Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we will learn about WordPress cron and how uh, we can use WordPress cron, how we can schedule events and what are how it's internally working and what are the advantages and disadvantages and what other best practices we uh, as a developer we have to keep in mind. Okay, so basically WordPress cron allows us to schedule a time based uh, events in a WordPress. Okay, so that we can perform any any background tasks using the WordPress cron okay so like uh like by default wordpress core features such as uh, checking the updates like including the wordpress core updates or the plugins or theme updates or publishing the schedule post like in the wordpress we can schedule the post to publish on the future date right so those features core features uh utilize the wordpress cron okay so basically this uh wordpress cron is uh functionality similar as the system cron which will uh, used uh to schedule some task okay on the time base for example if you are aware of linux servers then you may aware of a cron tab which we be used to execute some of the code uh, on the given time okay or like in the single event or the recurring events right so WordPress cron works by checking on every page load. Okay, so it will just see whether the uh, scheduled tasks are listed. Okay, and if there is any due to run, then it will call that uh, task and on during the page load. Okay, so WordPress uh, WordPress cron does not uh, run constantly as a system crons. Okay, only it will trigger when the user visit your website. So for example, if one of your tasks uh, have been scheduled on 2 p.m. But if the page load occurs on a 5 p.m., then it will run late okay because the the actual like the wordpress run run on the page load event okay but your task will be run uh it but it will be in the queue okay because the at us on the same time on the on the event schedule time the there is no page occurred like user we haven't visited uh the your site so that it will be in the queue but whenever the user uh, visit your site and the page load then uh any any scheduled task which are in the due it will run okay so there are multiple benefits of using wordpress cron like uh, you can manage any system performing tasks like background tasks or export import features or any other things you want to you want to perform in the background and where the user don't have to wait uh, uh, in the browser right to perform to complete the event so there are many uh, many use cases are there where the developers can uh, use the use of the wordpress cron right uh, most important like import export of the content in the background or importing some of the files into the background or perform any other background task where we can use the wordpress cron okay for example um like uh, if you want to see how many users have been visited or the registered on the website uh, on the daily basis we can send a report through the email as well so there are some like use cases i i'm telling but there there could be many use cases where we can use the wordpress cron Okay, so uh, this uh, hand on the plugin handbook on official developer dot purpose dot org on a plugin handbook, you can see this uh, topic uh, lesson called cron where you can learn more about the cron. Uh, but I will also go through a step by step, and we will also see how um, in the WordPress code what are the functions we are using, what are its definition, arguments, and everything, and behind the scene how the WordPress cron actually execute. Okay so first of all uh, in the wordpress cron we have to learn about scheduling like we like if we are scheduling the event and we have to provide uh, intervals right at which interval um the that particular task has to be done like every five minutes or maybe every 10 minutes or like hourly or twice a daily or bi-weekly right so there are some default intervals provided by the wordpress like hourly twice daily daily and weekly so weekly time um uh, weekly uh, interval edits in the 5.4 version okay and there are there is a filter called cron schedules which we can use uh, to filter or to add our custom intervals as well but we cannot remove the default intervals because this has been like in the core and it's used by the wordpress so we cannot remove it but we can use uh, we can add our custom uh, scheduler so let's see how we can add it so in the code base uh, I have in the same movie library plugin, I have added a function called MLB add cron schedules. Okay. And I'm using the filter uh, cron schedules where I have hooked that function. 
and here uh, we can get all the uh, schedules as an array of cron schedules and in that i am i am passing our custom uh, interval for example i want i want to add a uh, like interval called 10 minutes every 10 minutes that uh, uh, any scheduled task will should be run okay so i'm just passing 10 underscore minutes which is the like uh, interval name or slug we can say which we can use to when we uh schedule the uh schedule the events okay either single or or, or no, not a single event but on the recurring event okay and we have passed interval so interval should be in the seconds okay so i'm using them um uh, uh, like time constant provided by the wordpress so i'm using minute in seconds which provides 60 seconds into the 10 so it will be a 10 minutes and then display name whatever display name we have to provide so like every 10 minutes okay and then return a schedule so this uh, using this cron schedules filter uh, we can uh, add any custom intervals if you which we want to use it like any any like like cron schedules depends on our requirement like currently i'm using the every 10 minutes for an example okay and this uh, filter uh called from here so there is a call file uh, cron.psp file into the wp includes folder and if i search the cron schedules here um okay so this is the filter okay and uh, this filter call from this function wp get schedule so this function returns an array of uh, available schedules and these are the default schedules added or used by the wordpress core okay and and then filter will be uh, applied but uh, since they uh, in the in this function the default uh, schedulers haven't passed to the filter so we cannot remove it okay so we can only add our new custom uh, intervals or the cron schedules so um and then this function and this function has been used at many many places right where these schedules are needed so we will go through it later on as well during our some examples okay so this way we can uh, we can use uh, the schedules okay so also let me just give you an overview about uh, how like we have added a schedules uh, but these things on like performing the cron is like the behind the thing task like in the background right it like there is no user interface available into the wordpress code to see list of the uh, what are the cron events has been registered what are the intervals and how we can if you want to run it manually and few other things right so what i have did is i have there is a one plugin called wp control so which i i have installed in my local uh, setup okay so if you go to the plugins um go to the install plugins and i have already installed this wp control uh, this plugin enables to view and control what is happening in the wordpress cron system okay so it provides uh, events a uh, list of the events so if you go to the cron schedules under the under the settings here you can see the internal name of the schedule so this is a 10 minute which we have added and this is the hourly uh, we have added uh, these are the wordpress core uh, 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 cron schedules okay so from here also you can add your own custom uh, uh, schedulers okay and from the tools go to the cron events or simply you can go through the this cron events tab and in this ui you can see a list of the cron events has been scheduled okay any arguments has been passed where when it will be run and then what are the actions like from where this has been executed and then the recurrence okay like what are the is it a recurring event and when it's recurring like twice a daily once a daily or or there is a non-repeating like for example publish future post so it will run only on for this 1153 which is the post id and this post id like this post will have been scheduled to publish in the future so only for that this event has been registered and it's a one time so it's a non-repeating okay but it will run in seven years okay uh, but so using this plugin you can see the list of the scheduled events okay their arguments their actions and where this has this uh like is there those events are the recurring events if it's recurring event then how many times like uh how many intervals how much like in intervals it will run and if it's if it's a single event then it will be said non-repeating okay so this uh, uh plugin will be helpful and you can also run now you can also add it if you want to change then you can uh okay so i made some mistake uh let's say run open this one so you can also add it a cron event if you want to change a hook name or the, any arguments you want to pass or you want to change it uh, to the next run or you want to change the recurrence or anything so that you can do through this plugin as well
okay and we can also do through the wp cli so let me just give you a quick overview of the wp cli so if you want do not want to use the plugin but if you and if you are familiar with the wp cli and if you are not don't worry about it you can easily learn uh, the wp cli and how to use it so uh, in the quick introduction is that wp cli is a command line interface to manage the wordpress okay so like very simple sort and there are uh, videos are there which you can learn about how to install WP CLI in your local system and how to how you can use it. Okay, so WordPress provide um, help command and where I will run WP help command. So uh, this is a cron WP cron command. Okay, it provides three um, um, three uh, sub commands like event, schedule, and the test. Okay, so event command you are using the event command we can get list of the uh events and everything so if i run again wp cron event then it will give me other sub commands about the wp cron event so i can delete the schedule cron event so the, i can get a list of the cron run i can run the scheduled event whether it's due or if i want to run the cron event before they're uh, due right and also i can schedule and unschedule the uh, cron so for example if i run wp cron event list then it will give me a hooks like the uh, what are the WordPress cron events are there, what when is the next run, like in the GMT global management time, like or the UTC time. The next run relevant is like it will be run in the in the next 11 minutes and recurrence. How many times? Like hourly, the 12 hours means twice a daily, one day means daily, and few other things. Okay, so you can also go through it and you can also run that command um, uh, using the WP cron event run and i'm i can just copy this one and then enter and then this uh, event will be uh, run or else you can pass the hyphen hyphen view now something something like this view now okay so this will run the event which are the due like already due has there of that uh, like uh, scheduled events okay so um this way you can also do um uh, get like using the WP CLI command, you can interact with the WordPress crons, the scheduled events, right? And also if you run the cron uh, and schedule, I think I have to pass list command. Okay. So here you can see all the schedules events has been added it here and similar information we can also get it from the wordpress plugin wp control plugin okay so it depends on the users if the users know the, knows about wp cli then they can use there otherwise they can install the plugin and manage the cron events or and only for like the like reading purpose right or like in some cases we can modify it as well it depends on depends on the various use cases okay and there is also a plug, like a command called wp cron uh, test okay so um, this will simply check whether your cron uh, wp cron uh, is working as expected or not right if it's not then it will throw a warning or error if the, your cron is not working okay so yeah so these are the simple wp cli commands which you can learn to manage the crons yeah thanks for watching see you on the next one Jai Varpadis.